Hello, my name is Jamil. You're watching Myva, and uh, today we're going to look at a fun and little interesting project. So I was wanting to do some simulations where I needed to, uh, like a, a two D collision building stuff, and I wanted to draw the the two D layout, um, you know, in GIMP or Paint or whatever, like this. But I want a mesh. I don't want to do pixel pixel based collision bounding because I want to um, have a pseudo kind of 3D simulation. So how do we um, get a mesh out of this? And it's quite an interesting challenge. And um, I'll, this is kind of the final result. It traces uh, the outline and then it triangulates it. And then I can use this for collision bounding, the mesh. And this is the outline. It first found th finds the outline. Um, and the way this works is quite interesting. Um, if you, yeah, so, oh wait, no, wrong button, images, there we go. So this is the final result. These are the mesh, the mesh points, just the outline, all the individual points, and then the input. And the way the program does this is it goes ahead and it loads the picture, goes through every single pixel, and then it checks the surrounding pixels around it, whether it's uh, black or white. If it's black, it will. S if it um, all the pixels around this pixel is black, it will set it to transparent, and that is what you saw over here. Then you get this outline, and I'll uh, at the end of the video I'll add an animation that I recorded, of, uh, animation that I wrote that that shows how it does this in a scan line fashion. Finally, the um, uh, wait, wait, right. Now, after it did that, it will go through all of them and count how many pixels there are in the border. Then this while loop is kind of like an A-star algorithm where it snakes and crawls around the border of the shape. And I'll, I'll add animation at the end as well of that. Then what the code does is it will kind of remove redundant information. And that is what these points are. Um, so after you take the outline and you only take the corners, that's what that bit of code is doing. And then finally, those uh, corners are fed into libtes, which will just uh, triangulate it. And those triangles are then the final resulting output that you see in this picture. And yeah, it's, it's quite an interesting little challenge. I uh, thought I might just show you guys. Um, I'll add um, all the animations that I've made at the end. And I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Bye-bye.